Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. We are coming up to the same scale there in Minnesota as we did a week ago, or a little over a week ago, I guess. And that's when that DOT was there in the center lane and crossed all the way across into this on-ramp here, into the scale. Some of you guys were giving me shit for actually showing that, but uh, hey, it's done. It's been displayed and uh, whatever, but uh, they are open again. Some of you guys were even saying, oh, the DOT could possibly give you a hard time next, uh, next time you come through here, so... I said, you know what, let's keep the cameras rolling. We'll see what happens. We'll find out, I guess. But, uh, yeah, um, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, it's, I mean, it's always a possibility, right? But if that's going to be the case, you know what? My cameras are going to be rolling. Especially if he's at my vehicle, my cameras is going to be rolling. Yes, sir, indeed. Well, that guy is having to come in. That's FedEx, and uh, right now he's giving me the bypass. So, to the left. Look at that. Station ahead. Either they haven't seen the video yet, or uh, they don't really want to talk to me. <laughs> One the other. Two miles keep to yeah, the there's left a few that are pulling in. I'm getting the bypass. Looks like they are pulling every few trucks in, and then a few are being left. And so we got a DOT vehicle sitting up here. Keep to the left on I-94. What is lights? I don't know. Lights looks like they are on. So the vehicle... No, they're not. No, you just got the vehicle sitting there ready to go in case somebody is not following instructions, I guess. So they're ready to come after you. Okay, here we are. Continue on this road for eight miles. All right, RJ, we will do that. Making sure nobody's coming from there. All right, we're good to go. And I meant to tell you, since I unplugged my EGR valve system yesterday, I've had great power. I'm not smoking uh, hardly any whatsoever at all. Like, I mean, almost less than what I was before, or, or like about the same, I would say. So here we are, just about to come into Minneapolis. We obviously just entered uh, Minnesota, but uh, yeah, like I said, uh, great power. I have no lagging, as you guys can hear, probably. Pulls it right up to speed and absolutely no issues whatsoever. So it's obviously not my tour boat. So it's got to have something to do with either the uh, programming of the EGR valve or there uh, I talked to a friend of mine yesterday and it could be that there is a, a pipe closed somewhere and it can't circulate properly so that could also cause the EGR valve not to function right so yeah but uh, we're driving without it right now been doing that for the last four and a half years so never had any issues and here we are doing it again but yeah so now we're getting great fuel mileage fuel mileage is up to like eight miles to the gallon right now and i didn't even get that one before when it was plugged in not even with the light load and so yeah so that means there's something not hooked up correctly or a uh, pipe is plugged or something because it ran, you know, you got to understand, it ran with, without the EGR, well, probably for five years, maybe even longer than that, you know. And it's a good possibility that some of these pipes that were still hooked up, uh, and that's what these are, these pipes are there. It's a good possibility that they, uh, these little pipes uh, got plugged up from never being used, right? And this is, you know, the smoke or whatever, the soot and all that is running through it still, right? Because they're there, and it's a good possibility because they're not being used. No pressure is being really put through it uh, that they could actually build up with, with junk, right? So we're going to have that looked at when we get home, and we'll check that, make sure that they're not plugged, uh, plugged up or whatever. And uh, if they are, then that 
could be our problem right there, you know? And if that's not the case, then, then they're going to uh, delete my whole ECM programming. They're going to reinstall uh, a new software, so that way it's brand new and it should work right. It should be timed correctly. And what, uh, what the mechanic was saying that there's a possibility that whoever deleted it probably did something to the software and maybe that's why the timing is wrong, you know. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and uh, go from there. Well guys, I have decided to make a pit stop at the same place as I stopped at before in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. We're gonna go inside here and get us some breakfast done. I'm hungry. I haven't had nothing to eat yet today, so I figure, you know what? Let's go in here and have us some awesome breakfast. I love their breakfast in here, so let's go see if it's as good as it usually is. Well, here it is, guys. Look at that. We got us a very, very nice breakfast. It looks like a good cup of coffee. So let's get to eating. I'm telling you guys, that was a awesome breakfast. It was a big meal too. <laughs> I ain't gonna be hungry all day, no. That's for sure, but yeah, we got us another 300 miles to go yet to Winnipeg. That'll be about a five hours and 15 minute drive yet. So we got a few hours to go yet, and it's already 12, so probably be by 5.30 by the time I get to Winnipeg, so, so yeah probably be 6 30 quarter to seven by the time i get home but hey that's all right we'll still make our home and yep we'll take the truck to the shop again hopefully this will be the last time that'll be the goal anyways yeah so we gotta put the hammer down and go home i guess it is gotten a little bit cloudy again. We had beautiful sunshine here all day long, but this morning anyways. I know that seems like that sunshine is disappearing. Yeah. Oh well. That's the way it is, I guess. So we'll continue on with our journey and We'll see what else we will be able to show you today. Welcome back to Manitoba, guys! Yeah! We made it back across into Canada. Yes, indeed, we did. And now we gotta go to Winnipeg. We got an hour and a half to go to Winnipeg, pretty much. According to RJ, anyways, we got 133 kilometers. Man, there's a lot of penner trucks going south. So I like a long, long lineup over there at the border. Going south, at least. Fairly long lineup, too, to go north, too. But at least on the northbound, they had enough lanes open and all of that that we were able to just get right on through, right? Well, that part was good. We didn't have to waste too much time there. Here we are back in Canada, home sweet home, guys. I am happy, happy, happy. Let's make our way down to Winnipeg and drop this load. And I guess we'll find out if we got anything coming back home from there, but we will know. behind me that day is gonna come 